tries to persuade others to join his new pack. You mean investors in Bitcoin? Don't play that with me. Who's playing? Oh, wait. That should have been Sven's line. Very funny. Let's just proceed to what we've been getting in the mail from our viewers, Kerwin. Leave that to me. Look at this from New York. Donald Steinfeld, who sent us this. It's a Sven portrait actually carved into leather. That is just so cool. You do that or it was a tattoo that some cow had to put up with. And Sven, the trend of people doing artwork for you on rocks is still continuing. First, Steve LaForce. LaForce is with you. LaForce is what gives the Jedi his power. And his friend Judy Finch Gary, the Finch is with you. That doesn't make any sense. That's stupid. Who cares? From Memphis, I've sent you what they call 901 Rocks. What's that supposed to mean? 901 is the area code for Memphis. And what they do is paint various rocks, then hide them around town. When people find them, they can either keep them or they can hide them again for some lucky person to find. Wow, I wonder if our pal Jerry the King Lawler, who lives in Memphis, has ever found one of those rocks. I'm sure he'll find some rocks next time he sees you if he x-rays your head. But wait, there's more from appropriately Glen Rock, Pennsylvania, Amanda Good who watches us along with Johnny, Jacob, and Nora, sent us this artwork painted on rocks, two Spanguli rocks, and a very special one, featuring a very handsome star of this show. Do you know what you're full of? <clears throat> Let's just move on. Alan Chess from Pinebush, New York, was at a trunk or treat event in upstate New York last fall and was wearing a Sven shirt when he ran into the Queen of Hearts. Uh, oh, beautiful. Are you familiar with trunk or treat, Kerwin? Sure. It's when a woodpecker has a choice between a tree and a pizza. <laughs> you get it? Tree, trunk. What are you, drunk? I said trunk. Hey, check this out. Hans Heidler and his friend went to New Orleans, and whenever they travel, they try to find a German restaurant. Would you know where one was? I know nothing. <laughs> you might not think one would be easy to find in New Orleans, but they did find one called Bratz, y'all. And it turns out the owner is a guy named... Sven. He's Sven Borkhoff, who came from Berlin. So Hans in his Sven shirt took a picture with the other Sven. Yeah, holy my man. Yeah, you, you'll never know when you'll run into a Sven. I'd like to in the parking garage. Hey, look at this. Janine Farrell and her husband Sean watch us every week. And when we went on a special trip to Oaxaca, Mexico, John wore his spin button-down shirt. First, they went to the Monte Alban Ruins. Seems appropriate to have something about you involved in ruins. Why must they always ruin it? And then on the Day of the Dead in the historic city center with all the traditional Day of the Dead decorations. Uh, hey, I think those are Tombstone Sisters. <laughs> yeah, there's no accounting for taste. But you probably have the good taste to check out Swingoolie.com. We can visit Kerwin's Corner, read Sven's weekly blog, look at the photo gallery, check out the MeTV Mall and more. It's all at Swingoolie.com. And now, in the theme for us, Credo. Thank you for all those cards. Down in Sedona, Trevino, we're at the Grand Canyon. I bet it was just gorgeous. Get it? Cycle in that.